All right. Now we're going to touch on an oldie, right? Can I call this an oldie now? Because it came out in no. 1997. No. Not an oldie. How, what, so Older. what is the year that you 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 can go as far back to? I don't know. There's no rules. There are no rules? Old. I mean, I saw this in the theater and I'm not old, so I don't know what you're talking about. So what's a movie that you can consider as an oldie? Strange How Love. How far? Doctor Strange Love. Oh, that's kind of far. That's in the 60s. So nothing in the 70s and 80s. Well, right. I don't what? know. Why do you really want to just name something? Just You oh. just want to make something old, don't you? Oh, I don't know. I thought it was it old like enough did. to be 97, right? It's, what is this, 25 years ago now? Yes. Yeah, sure. Sure, it's 25 years ago. 25 years. I did just some fast math. I am Asian after all. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I was like, is it 25 years? I had to uh, second guess myself. But we okay. are doing Man in Black. I mean, I think last week we put out the Wild Wild West, right? Which we complained about, like, you know, the Joe Son really there. I didn't complain about it. it. it was, sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. I, I, I Let me rephrase. I complain about it. The, no, you agree <laughs> that, like, the Joes and the puns are kind yeah, of bad. Yeah. But, but, and I'm sure we're going to get back to that point in one of these movies, too. But, but this one was really good, though. This, this one was directed really good. by the this, same director. But we got to point out this also, also came out before me. Yeah, it uh, came out before Wild, 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 Wild West. West. I mean, without this movie, there wouldn't have been a Wild Wild West. So if you don't like Wild Wild West, you can blame this movie. If I don't like Wild Wild West, I can blame this movie? That yeah, doesn't because, make any sense, right? Yeah, it does make sense. It makes perfect sense because it's the success Explain. of this movie that allowed them the green light. Oh. They're like, wait, they watch this movie, they go, hmm, Barry Sonnenfeld and Will Smith. Again? <laughs> well, well, Wild Wild West going to be a hit. And he's even going to do a music video. Well, this one had a music video. Well, I think this one also had a music video. And that's exactly. Why that's, what I'm just getting, that's what I'm getting uh, at. Yeah, this one was good. It had a music video. It had Will Smith and it had Barry Sonnenfeld or Sonnenfeld, whatever his name is. And then he's like, hey, I'm going to make Wild Wild West. You got a problem with it? And they're like, no, go right ahead. <laughs> We're not even going to step in if it looks stupid and tell you what to do. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't blame this movie for Wild Wild West. I blame Wild Wild West for Wild Wild West. <laughs> Well, you know, I just said you can't. Or they picked the, or they picked the the wrong project to do. I don't know. Or maybe because this movie was so good, right? So the production company just like, hey, let's do this again. Yeah. Well. Oh, but uh, there was something different, I think, because I don't think Spielberg was attached to Wild Wild West. Oh, you're right. Because Spielberg was attached to this movie. Yeah, Spielberg was executive producer on this. Matter of fact, Will Smith wasn't even supposed to originally be in this movie. Who was? I love Thank you. Like this. Well, it was Tommy Lee Jones. It was always attached. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was Chris O'Donnell. Oh, I think you're right. I, I saw a YouTube video sure about right. that. It's Chris O'Donnell, and it, and it just kept. I mean, the movie was like what, maybe it was floating around ten years before it got made. Oh, I'm so got you rated because it was back in '87, right? The special effects didn't wouldn't yeah. look as good, obviously. Well, we also point out this. There was a comic book too. Oh yes, so I watched this with my son Ethan. Right when he saw in association with Marvel Entertainment, I was like, "Whoa, what does this mean?" I didn't see it. Associate. I saw it Marvel Comics. Yeah, it's Marvel, Marvel Comics, Comics or something. It's, it's, yeah. It says based on the Marvel Comics. Oh, okay. So, yeah. It's not in it's just association Marvel with something. Marvel Entertainment. This is a long time ago. Oh, that's right. It's in association. Like, Matter of fact, I think Marvel. this is long before Marvel goes bankrupt. Ninety-seven. Yeah, it's yeah. a long before it did that. Yeah. Yeah, Marvel went bankrupt. That's when they sell the the rights to certain characters to you know certain studios that I don't like. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Yeah, so it wouldn't be Sony. But <laughs> hey, wait, what? Who made this movie? Oh, this is Sony. This is uh Columbia Pictures. Sony. Is this Sony? Okay, yeah, it was. It's Sony, anyways. Sony owns that chick that's got the light on the front. Of so I uh. That's right, the Columbia lady, pictures lady. Yeah. Her I name is did Like Columbia. this movie a lot. Actually, I still enjoyed it very much. I did too. I enjoyed this one. This like, was very good. It's on the same level of enjoyment for me as a fun movie as like the fifth element. Like it's in that category. Like, hey, these are the fun, fast movie that I always enjoy. Yeah. It's not like the best better. movie, but I, like I it's the, enjoyable. Oh, yeah, you know, it's not the best movie. We'll go ahead with that too. Cause I think this one will get kind of old eventually. Uh, yeah, but I guess I like the characters. Time, I mean, I liked it. It's got Will Smith and Tommy Jones. I mean, you can't beat that. No, 
Tommy Lee Jones is great. Like the, his attitude, right? I love his yeah. attitude. I think if I was younger, I didn't like it as much. But now that I'm older, right? Like, oh yeah, I totally understand. Like because yeah, you're getting <laughs> you're getting older. As you get older, you're getting grumpier. Is that, is that why you understand? <laughs> understand why where he's coming from i wouldn't want to say grumpy right i feel like oh, oh i gotta train another new rookie right like yeah come on yeah it feels like wiser. now before i was like mel gibson from lethal weapon right but now i'm like okay i'm really danny glover now i'm too open this and i don't have time <laughs> oh my goodness what is wrong with you <laughs> it's kind of like the same thing from bad boys will smith is like the same thing for men in black right he's the one that acts on action first yeah. and martin Lawrence, like hey man why you gotta be so combative <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> I'm not trying. I'm not trying to get shot today. <laughs> oh, so I did like so the the one of the first things that you point out, right? The GCPD thing because I don't have an NYPD shirt. I mean, okay, I did, well. but I wore it so much, right? It's kind of like stretchy, you know, uh, like okay. the blue with the emblem. Yeah, right, you don't have to tell us. Good. But like I told you one of before, like, I knew I was saving it for this show, right? One of my favorite lines for this from this movie is not your <laughs> punk ass down. When I watched this in the movie theater, I was like, oh my God, that is brilliant. <laughs> How did I ever not thought of that before? Yeah, yeah that's the same. Uh, a line that probably a lot of people didn't give a crap about, you loved. Yes, a lot of people didn't give a crap about, I love. I it's just you these probably, little you probably got to be for New York to care about that. I think. Mean, like, yeah, I think York. so too. Because so like, I lived so. there, and I was like, "Oh my god, that is so great!" Because right after he said that, right, I'm trying to think of DPD, like Dallas PD, and like any other PD, like that sound as awesome as this. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're going to do anything really clean out of D- <laughs> DPD. <laughs> yes, yeah, see, nothing. That's why I was like, "Oh my god, it's so awesome." <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Well, I was going to ask you, what did you enjoy about this movie, right? Aliens. Well, okay, just aliens. For me, I did like the uh, the test that they went through, okay? Because when Ethan's watching it, you know, you had the best of the best of the yeah, best. Yeah, you right? got to do the best of the best. <laughs> and they said, what did you say, sir? I thought the it best was of, so that's the best. Funny. And I like it when he points out, he goes, you know, he doesn't have any clue yeah, he what no he's idea. here for. He just, uh, he just repeats what you say. Yeah, it's just we were like, like, okay, we're the best of the best, but why are we really here? Because that was his question. Like, why are we really here? And throughout the whole test, right? Well, I want to go ahead. I'll tell you my favorite parts, but I'm okay. just going to interrupt you because that's what I do. Okay. But when he drags the table across the floor. Oh, so on that, I, I was actually, you were going along White Wells, uh, explaining to Ethan, right? He didn't understand that. So I pointed out to him, like, hey, you see how they were sitting, right? They were sitting in this egg-shaped chair with nothing to write on. They give him pencils specifically, okay? So that way, <laughs> they want, because, you know, the first thing Will Smith did was, like, he broke the pencil. Yeah, well, the <laughs> other guys were ripping holes in their chest. Yeah, ripping holes in the test. And then, like, when he dragged the table, right? So I explained to Ethan, like, that's actually pretty smart because they, that's what they were testing for. Well, they never I, actually, yeah. So like, I love to do though. When table, I find a table, like, oh. like if I'm at work or something, I find a table that will make that noise. I like to drag it across the floor, <laughs> and everybody looks at you. You know, the funny thing is, everybody's looking at me like, "What a jerk!" But I'm thinking, you didn't, you didn't see this in a movie. Oh, that is Losers. so funny. Like, when he said, "Hey man, you want to get in on this?" <laughs> you get in on this? So I, ta- I told Ethan like, "Hey." Out of everybody, if they were so smart, right? And you could tell, like, hey, they were having problems, like, writing on inside that egg chair. Yeah. They were trying to write on that. Where'd she go uh, with this? He thinks outside things. the box. He thinks outside the box. Well, I, I didn't want to say that before I explained case, that. In his case, though, he thinks outside the egg chair. Yeah, he thinks outside the egg chair. <laughs> that should be the name of this episode. I was going to name put Knock Your Punk Ass Down. <laughs> I think outside the egg chair. Yeah, exactly. I think that would be, be a better title. Because, just... um thing outside the egg chair and the other thing i really like is that um like i told you i think on one of the older episodes about the new teenage Mutant ninja turtles right like when i watch it not everyone that looks big and disgusting and scary are necessarily bad guys there was this movie was the first time i seen that we're like okay when they had the shooting thing right yeah all the other guys just go ahead and shot the alien but he was the one that put pieced it together real quick like why is that little girl in the hood reading all these advanced books like what is going on there like i question stuff like that like hey so um i think one of the pictures i recently posted on facebook right <laughs> this guy there's a little rabbit okay but this guy put plastic chains around it and they hook it to a metal ball okay now i'm thinking like is this animal cruelty or do i really need to be cautious around this rabbit <laughs> that was just a picture <laughs> 
And I really liked it. So I try to explain that to Ethan. Like, hey, just because somebody looks different and disgusting, right? Or like that you're scared of, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're bad guys. And like the MIB successfully said that like, hey, these are just immigrants from uh, uh, literally other planets. They just want to find a safe place to live, right? And with this, we don't want to freak everybody out because everybody's going to think like, oh my God, they're here to kill us or whatever. Which ties in with, I think, why we both love District 9 so much. Because it's something different. Yeah. I mean, I that's say, what I got. If I say you, you look ugly and spooky and scary, yeah, you're the bad guy. Yeah, see, that's about. what it, I guess that's what it did from, like, I don't know, Big Trouble and Loaded China. And, like, all those old 80 movies, like, Indiana Jones. Like, oh, my God, this looks real creepy, right? So this is the bad guy. And, like, we need to think away from that. Yeah, because, you know, the, at the end of the movie, the big giant bug guy. Yes. Well, he's a good guy. He's, he's, a good guy. he's the big, he's the ugliest, creepy, scary thing in this movie. But he's, he's a different opinion. I mean, like those other things doing that. Like, would you call that the uh, international or like, intergalactic airport with the MIB headquarters on? Like, because everyone had to check in and check out there, right? Yeah, it was kind of like an airport. It was, it was actually customs. Customs, yes. Customs, even though it had a Burger King in it. In a Sprint store. <laughs> yeah. Is Sprint even still around? Didn't they merge with somebody? They got the, bought out. The average, I, mean, I guess that's the advertisement, kind of like in Wings World, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's okay. I mean, we saw a Burger King on Back to the Future, too, in downtown. We did. You know, it's funny. I see a lot of Burger Kings in all these movies, but yet I can't seem to go to a Burger King because there's not one around. We had yeah. this discussion before. We so, did because we talked about like there's not a Burger yeah. King. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I keep seeing Burger King. I mean, if y'all would quit spending so much money on advertising, oh, I was going to say the same thing. It, it actually opens from <laughs> restaurants. Maybe it makes more business. They spent all that money on uh, giving money to this movie to advertise. Yeah, it's like yeah, money. it's like. I know you exist. It's just hey, I can't seem to find you. I'm so glad that we haven't gone to this movie yet, right? But it's like, hey, eventually the franchise will. Yeah. Taco Bell. Well, here's the same thing. Yeah. Here's this. Yeah. That's why Taco Bell will win, okay? Because you don't see them in any <laughs> movies at all. I've never seen them in a movie except for one. But that's see, that's very the thing. True. If I ever get hungry and want a, a, a Burger King, I know where I can go. <laughs> I have to go to Battery Park in New York to go to the Burger King. <laughs> there's not a Burger that, King close to me here. I, I don't but know. But there that, is, but not too close. Man, there's not a Burger King close to anybody in Texas, usually. Yeah, usually it's not, right? Even I mean, in the sure place I live. Yeah. Yeah, that's just not. It's, it's not. Just, it's, there's many other choices, even better choices. Oh, yeah. Before Man, you get to a McDonald's. Burger. I mean, that's the thing. Burger King's always up against McDonald's, but I can find a McDonald's. I can throw a rock and hit a McDonald's. <laughs> I would have to drive hundreds of miles just to find a Burger King almost. I like how um we go so fast to just food and burgers already. <laughs> because you know we're it's that time we're we're hungry. Okay. I I ate a burger before this. Did you? What kind of burger? Oh, uh, one of those patties I bought from uh, Sam's. Oh, okay. It's, uh, what, it's really good. Oh, yeah, that's what they all say. <laughs> Whatever. It's not, I it's think no it's Burger good. King. You know, Burger King. Oh, it's better than you have cheese and bacon in your Sprint the store. In your Sprint store. Was there a Sprint store? I can't remember. Was there a Sprint was, store? Right? I don't know. There was a Sprint store eventually. Let's put it that way. <laughs> See, far in the future. But, so, um, yeah. I like that. Like, you know, throughout the whole we may, movie. You know, the sad thing, there may not have been a Burger King in this one either. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's in the second one, but we'll get to that later. Um, yeah, well, I like how this whole movie, right? You thought he was training his new partner. Yeah, but in the like in, in the last in the two days he was with Kay, he was actually training his replacement. Well, you think that though? They lead you to think that because of the first of the movie Kay gets rid yeah. of his uh, partner. yeah partner. Yep. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, I guess did like the. That point, it's the point where Cade actually decided he didn't want to do it anymore either. Yeah, I also like the because the question, right? When was the last time you look up at the stars? It's because of what they know. They don't really look at it anymore. I really love no, that. Even at busy, the end. Because they're too busy working. Yeah, too busy they're working. Busy. They're too busy. Well, because when you're young, you look at the stars and wonder what's out there. But now they know what's out there. They so know what's they out care? there. I think one like, of the... Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, I think one of the best speeches, right? Besides that is when, like, you know... However many years ago, the people thought the world was flat, right? and now we're going back to that. And then however many years ago, we thought, you know, whatever. And now, like, just two minutes ago, you thought we were alone at the universe. Yeah. I really yeah. love that. Like, whoever wrote that was like, wow, will he put things into perspective, you know? Yeah. Well, we always know best, don't we? <laughs> well, I don't know about best. 
Yeah, we, the humankind sure does think it does. We, we, and anybody, we and anybody disagree, yeah. and anybody disagrees with the, everybody that's got their big dis, the, the majority usually gets a stone burned at the stake. And, oh yeah, you just oh the, in this day, day you get canceled now. Oh yeah, this today's I'd take, canceled. I'd take get, I'd take the guillotine any day. <laughs> I think it's always funny, like, oh, free speech, right? Like, wh- isn't that the guy you cancel exercising his free speech, right? Isn't that what's yeah. happening there? That's and now you're canceling. Either. But then yeah. I guess free speech only applies when you want to say something that's on your yep. mind, not when that's someone true. else wants to say something that you disagree with. Yeah, only if you're you know saying what? something that the majority likes. But that's it, you know? Oh, well. All right, moving uh, on. A hundred years from now, those people look stupid, too. So what did you think about the female lead on this movie? Oh, yeah, I like her. Oh, oh I mean, like, yeah, I like Linda Florentino, right? But, like, I yeah. feel like her thing is, like, okay, you know, she have not really been on training. Some of her other movies have been a little weird, though. <laughs> yeah, it's not as popular. Like, I, I didn't like, okay, Will Smith was trained for two days, right? But suddenly this lady from the morgue, this doctor, suddenly gets to be MIB. So you haven't really experienced anything. Oh well, yeah, she has. She's probably seen like zillions of aliens. But Jay, I mean, Kate just more... keeps, Kate's been flashing her his her, her probably her entire life. That's that's one of my favorite things. Like, have you ever flashed anything me, Kate? No. Come on, I'm serious, man. Have you ever flashed anything me? No. <laughs> I ain't playing with you. Of course he has. He's flashing everybody thought... on the on the earth. But yeah, that's the thing. That lady's probably seen aliens on a daily basis. Oh, you know, what? I and didn't. He think shows about that. up. Probably every other day to flash her and give her another story. Oh, and I will like um the Will Smith's take on that when they met Edgar, right? Like his wife, like, hey, this is the only best story you can come over. Like, you know, you're gonna get your hair done, get a really nice meal, and then when you come back, right, I would hire interior decorator because, damn, yeah. <laughs> I always love it. He's always changing people's memory to like yeah. a happy one. Well, he's actually always <laughs> always doing a little bit more damage is what he's doing. Yeah, like he's this gonna change it to a happy one. It's gonna cost her a fortune. <laughs> oh man, this movie is so enjoyable. I like I like all the um what's the other thing I like about the uh um well they they did the they did do the how do I wanna say this? Don't judge a book by its cover, right? When like they went to the dog Frank. Yeah, well, the whole movies don't judge a, a book. I know. Cover. But, like, that's I mean, they're looking for the did. galaxy, remember? They're looking for the galaxy. Oh. The galaxy turns out it's a little, a little it's Hamlet. The cat. His name's yeah. Orion. Yeah. Man, that's, I thought that was so brilliant. Like, oh, you know what? That, that's called Orion's Bell, and there's no galaxy. But he's talking about the cat. Yeah. It's just like the detectives. Cat. I love that cat, by the way. I, I thought that. The New York police officer was such a jerk. Like, oh, that's a problem with the cat. Oh, what is it? Hey, sign here. And he's just like, now it's your problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, if anybody ever go to New York, right? Yeah, it's still kind of like that to this day. <laughs> There's a sitcom I think me and my sister watched a long time ago. I forgot who was in it. It's about these New York cops, right? I want to say Dennis Leary was in it, but I can't remember. There's an episode where one one precinct of the police, right, found this dead guy. And they're like, oh, man, I don't want to deal with the paperwork. So what they did is they just dragged the dead body just over a little bit. So it would fall into the other precinct. And what happens is the other precinct is like, damn, I don't want to deal with this paperwork either. So the, that whole episode between those four dudes, they just keep dragging the body back and forth to different locations around that area. I thought it was the one of the funniest things I ever seen in my life. I don't know if anybody's seen that sitcom. I don't know if my sister will remember this, but that was so funny to me. It reminded me of that dude from Men in Black. I'm like, uh, oh. I don't want to deal with this problem. So if you, you sign it. for it, now it's your problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh. and then there's is the dog, like you said. Yeah, the dog. Um, because you, talk- you know, no, because you're, but you're led to automatically think that that other the that owner. Brain- the yes. dead looking thing. We don't know that he was the owner. We don't even know what that was. I like that that dude didn't even have any lines at all. He was just there in that shot. There's yeah. no nothing for him to say. Like, what is that? Yeah. But the dog is funny because it's a little pug and it's awesome. Yeah, he's shaking that dog all around. <laughs> the, dog, like, uh, the, the dog owns my friend money. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, Tony Salute was in this movie too. Yeah, yeah, the arms yeah. dealer. Yeah, the arms dealer. 
I think he can he does voices, right? Because I've seen him in a sitcom. Is it called Monk? A yeah. long time ago. But he oh, he sounds completely different. Like, you know, from this movie to like, you know, the sitcom. But I do like that guy. Oh. I just love like, you know, the first guy that like um the, the Will Smith chased down. I thought that kid looked like Jimmy Kennedy when I first saw him. <laughs> Well, it wasn't Jimmy Kennedy. Was Jim <laughs> Kennedy or whatever his name is. Well, like, Jamie you know what? Kennedy. Jamie Kennedy. Yes, yeah, I'm sorry. Jamie Kennedy. You Jamie guys Kennedy. look the same to me. I said that before. Yeah, you said that. I'm like not gonna do times. I'm not gonna do that joke all over again. <laughs> oh, what else did I like? Oh, I would like the alien thing. You like the alien thing? I like the alien thing. Did you like that? This turns out the spaceships are the things. Yeah. Oh, I loved it. I love how they use it. I like um how fast paced and everything is directly you know, some of the movies we talked about before, right? Oh, they set up this scene for the this scene, but this movie did really well. I think that's what Bonnie Sun Summerfield does really well. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to say so. I haven't seen any of other of his movies other than these two. I don't even know what he's done. Well, no, besides these and yeah, the, like Men in Black and what what is the other one we don't Wow Wow West, right? Yeah, what I'm has sure he done? He's, he's probably done some a lot of other stuff we watched and like, but I don't remember it. I know he didn't get to direct the third one. So. Oh, he did the first Adams Family. I did like that. That was good. For love or money. Oh, he did the Adams Family, the second one too. Oh, he did Guess Shorty with John okay. Travolta. Oh, okay, that was a good one. Big Trouble. I think that's a sequel, right? To Guess Shorty. Oh no, it's not. It's something else. It's Kim Allen. <laughs> oh, he did Men in Black three too. Oh, oh, he didn't. Okay. He doesn't have a big resume. He did like nine movies. If he's like Quentin Tarantino, he's one. He needs one more. <laughs> well, who really has that many movies, honestly? Uh, I don't know. Clint Eastwood has more than ten. Does he? God dang it! You're gonna let me. Ch- I I want to say so. I, I don't want to do it by um counting. Yeah, but Clint Eastwood's been on the planet longer than anybody. But as director. Oh, that's what I'm saying. He's still been around a long time. He's directed stuff way back in the before this guy even became oh, yeah. a director. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, oh, he does he did direct a lot of movies. Yeah, he's directed a lot of crappy movies too. So uh yeah, you know what? But Clean East was still pretty good. Yeah. I mean, hits and miss. Okay. So I'm gonna say he started off good. No, I wouldn't say. I guess it takes time, right? Not everybody's a Ben Affleck. Time for him, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Not everybody's been. Not Affleck, everybody's right. Ben Affleck. I'm sorry to say. First movie out. Well, oh, first movie out was like, oh my god, this is a masterpiece. This it's kind of like even, it's, it's the same thing as we see with John Favreau, right? He's not yeah. a good actor, but he's a better director than he's actor. Yeah, he's a better director. You know, well, you gotta it's go also to the. Part the you, it's photos. also the part you get. It's also the part you get. Yeah, it's also the part you get too, and the directors that's um working the set. You yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah, it's, also yep. that. it's all these it's things like people like to blame stuff. Like, oh man, I got. Yeah, look I mean, at we could kick on John, John Favreau, but we don't know. He's never really had that many good roles, or maybe roles that we don't find like we don't. Maybe he plays a character that we don't like him as much in. Yeah, he, like and he plays this one. And Tommy Lee Jones. He plays I like a lot both of guys. He plays you know? a lot of jerk characters. That's the thing. Yeah, uh, does. Does. That's the way. He, that, I guess he's um typecast, right? Yeah, he's typecast. He's not gonna get. The, he's not gonna be o- a Daniel Ocean. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Well, no, he's never going to be that. That's why we're never yeah. to say he's a great actor. Either. Yeah, because we. He, but you got to think, Daniel well. Ocean's got all his movies. He's not a great actor. He man, he played Batman and he <sighs> ruined it. I felt to me, right? I don't know why people think George Clooney is a great actor. Every role I seen him in him, it's just the same person over and over yeah, and over I, again. I don't know. I never heard anybody say he was a great actor. Right. The, you know, I think Brad Pitt is better. I think Brad Pitt is uh, done snitch where he does a completely different accent, right? Like, dude, I don't know what kind of part of the world he's from, but he's speaking English and I don't understand him. <laughs> and then he played, uh, what is that? Inglorious Bastards. The, oh, act, yeah. the sudden accent, like, oh my God, I had never heard anything like that. And but I loved from, it. But he's from the South, so. Oh, Brad Pitt is from the South? Well, yeah, he's, he's from really the South. Good. It was, wasn't a stretch for him. Oh, okay. So he's going. Oh, it's kind of like things that we never knew, right? Like Matt Damon and can and obviously they can pull that Boston accent really well because where they came from. Because <laughs> Matt Damon's from. That's Boston. why I was telling you. I think I told you, but not on the podcast, right? Like Chris Evans hides his Boston accent really well until he start like he gets to start to get hysterical. Then he loses it. They're like he's not watching his control when he's like like joking around with his brother or with Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, that's that Boston accent coming out. I thought I only saw that in the uh, whatever commercial that 
call commercial, the car oh, park. Yeah. <laughs> you got car park? <laughs> Todd Park. And the, the guy from uh, the office, Jim. Yeah. Plays Jim. He's from that area too, because he has there's that. There's a lot of there's a lot of people. Okay? There's just tons of people from Boston. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm so city. glad that you guys can hide that accent really well. I can't hide that accent because I don't have one. <laughs> I have an accent. I'm not hiding my accent. This is my true accent. Okay. It sounds normal right. to me, but it sounds weird to you. I love Rip Thorn in this movie. Actually, I like Rip Thorn overall. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, I like him in this role, right? He plays the uh, director Zed. of MIB. Zed. Yeah. I also yeah. loved him in 30 Rock. <laughs> oh, yeah. I yeah. He, he's like, every time I see him, he's always like, you know, the top the guy, right? The CEO, whatever. Yeah, that, you yeah, know. he's the boss. And like, I also like this movie because it's different from the 80s, right? When Will Smith asked that question, like, how do you guys get funding for all this? And then Tommy Lee Jones, like, oh, you know, those patents for these technology, you know, we own the patents to that. I'm like, oh my God, that's brilliant. Yeah. You know, microwave with something small, but like you never knew. Yeah. You know? That's how a lot of companies own. Yeah. Get their funding. Patents. <laughs> Because, like, you know, these weapons we write are very advanced, huh? That's the oh. one of the alien movies I've seen that's, like, we have advanced weaponry. Like, you know, they don't have this kind of stuff in ID4, in Alien. We always have weapons that we have, you know, fire, bullets. Yeah. But this is, they shooting some kind of plasma stuff. Well, that's the thing. Like if, everybody's, if everybody's coming to your planet and you're confiscating crap, you're going to have bits of crap. I mean, it's like I told you once. If an, alien lands, near, if an alien lands from our house... <laughs> I'm taking. I'm gonna put him in a ditch and take his spaceship. <laughs> That's why they don't come around here. Oh wow! He is gonna get saucer jacked. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! So, um, I did like the idea of them using um, the aliens wearing human things as a bodysuit. Oh, I love that. My favorite, one of my favorite things in this whole movie is it's when that, that guy right? gets killed. Yeah, where that she pulls that ear, he's in the morgue, pulls that ear. Oh, and, and it opens the suit, open. right? And there's a little alien sitting in this deal with all these little drivable stuff. So he's basically driving the guy around like a robot. Yes. That is so cool. Oh, man. You that's know what's like, really funny? That's like the my favorite part. I just noticed that my mic isn't working on my audio, so I had to pull the back up anyway. I just want an audience to know that I had to do this kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, I just want to. I just know that I hope Fix I can the hear audio. You. Oh, you can hear me. Like, okay, good. Because otherwise, it sounds like I'm talking to myself the whole time. But it's my is my programming that's like, man, something's not working. Oh, yeah, you got that right. Your program's done. That's man, that stuff. sucks. This suck, I guess. Yeah. Well, you know what? What are you gonna do? You know, it's always like uh technical difficulties, right? That well, we always, always have to deal with. Well, yeah, I guess we do do it. Do it yeah, Vegas, because we're we are on the forefront of technology. We are pushing the boundaries. We are using Sprint. <laughs> what? Do you have something against Sprint? I don't know. <laughs> not really. It's just like the, I mean, there's somebody that out there that, for me to kick. I'm gonna kick them. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Now I have my stuff working because I just changed the setting. I can see my bars, but you know what? Keep going. <laughs> Nobody wants to see your <laughs> bars. Be careful what you say. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Actually, I was just laughing. Like <laughs> audio bars. I can see, uh, you know, it's moving now. Yeah, you don't have to explain. I know what you meant. Uh, no, sometimes if I don't look at this stuff, right, I release an episode and then like, hey, how come we can't hear the other fat ass? <laughs> <laughs> So the, oh, while um, we're talking, I, I want to go ahead and show what Oh, I you got. have one of those books? Back, oh, yeah. The Making of Men in Black. Well, the script and the story behind it. Yeah, it's the got film. the script and the story behind it. Maybe it's got the script with a bunch of pictures in it. So it's is it the whole like, script? So, like, that yeah. book's got to be pretty thick, right? Because the script got to be, like, uh, over 100 pages? Yeah, the script's not that thick. Do you read them? Do you read them? The scripts? Yeah. Why? I saw the movie. <laughs> oh, I just want to see if, like, um, maybe, yeah, like, no. oh, not really. I rarely do. I used to mm-hmm. when I was younger, but then I got, I don't care. Well, you, problem, you were younger, there's you not that time. much. There's really not that much script, if you think about it. You know, I mean, what do you mean? Black wasn't a very long movie. No, it's like an hour and 30 minutes, if that. Yeah, and a lot of it was special effects. So it's just like here. And oh, by you know the what? way, it also tells you, you know, it's got supposed to have like, it's got like the, what is it? The, the Men in Black, How to Be an MIB Guide in it. Really? Oh yeah, engine official agent's manual. Ooh. Wow. 
It's okay. It's not really anything that groundbreaking. Did I you buy that awesome. book when it was new? Yeah, bought it when the movie came out. That's wow, so that thing. book is 25 years old. Yeah, since we're going to carbon date everything, yeah. <laughs> because uh, we mentioned that. It's not an oldie. <laughs> yeah, we're going to we're gonna uh, date it. But I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, I mean, I thought it was cooler then when I bought it mm-hmm. than it is now. There's their car. Is that the car? Yeah, that's their car. It was the Lincoln, right? That they drove was it a Lincoln? No, it was, so a, it was a Crown. It's of Crown Victoria. Yeah, it's a f- yeah. Older, even an older one than what was available at that time, I think. Which anybody knows anything about Men in Black? The true story is they're always supposed to drive older cars because that's the time period, right? No, they drive older cars, so you won't notice them. Oh, they the don't whole point drive of Men in Black. Flashy. The whole point of Men in Black is not to stand out at all, not to be mm-hmm. remembered. You don't want to remember any any features about them, anything about the car, but a lot of people do remember it because a lot of times they'll get in their cars and they'll be like spaceships almost. They'll mm. remember old cars and you get in it and then all of a sudden all the inside's all modern. <laughs> but you know, the funny thing is that's the thing with Will Smith though. He has to stand out. Yes. So he really couldn't be a man in black. Yeah, and then that's why you say you want to stand out, right? It remind me of the great, uh, the gun, the noisy, the noisy, the noisy cricket. Like, yeah, what? The little tiny. <laughs> I see that. I feel like I'm gonna break this damn thing. Yeah, the little cricket. <laughs> First time the like, character has his favorite gun. Yeah, his favorite gun. I'm gonna get my gun back. I did like the first time they told the MIB office. Like, I love everything Will Smith say to this movie. And like Tommy, like Agent K just like brush it off. Like, hey, you, you came to me so you recognize his skills. So I don't want anybody calling me sport champ and things like that. And throughout this whole movie, that's all they refer him to. Find. Yeah, no problem, Slick. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you take Junior here on his first date? That would be a good start for him. <laughs> Yeah. I like that, like, the training is, like, there's no preparation. Like, hey, these are the kind of things that you'll see on day one. And, like, the first day on the field, right? The first thing on the field is that they deliver an alien baby. Yeah, he delivers <laughs> an alien baby. That's the part of what he's doing. Like, oh, yeah, he does this all the time. Like, hey, man, whoa. <laughs> hey, Kay, you got to come over here. <laughs> I love that. Like, the special effects with that car. Like that station wagon, yeah, and it's throwing Will Smith around in and out through the windows. Even at that time, right, I was like, "Oh, you know what? This was really advanced for back in this day, like back in '97." Because I saw this in the theater also, and I freaking loved it. <laughs> and like, like um, the main villain, like we didn't talk about Vincent, we didn't talk about uh uh King Vincent D'Onofrio, yeah, Prince yeah, of yeah, D'Onofrio, long before we even think he'd ever be Kingpin. Somebody he said, was, hey, that guy's going to be Kingpin. I'd be like, no. Well, because he was in his 30s, I want to say, in this movie. Like, he was really skinny, right? I mean, you know what? This really guy is really always skinny, like, because yeah. he was in Full Metal Jacket. And he was like a chunky guy then. And in this one, he looks tall and kind of skinny, I guess. Yeah, he changes. He's he changes. Whatever the role. But no one, the... no one give him props for that just because he's playing these roles that no one really, he's not, he's not Joker from um, uh, Full Metal Jacket, you know? He's not Agent J in this yeah. movie. He played well, this movie. It's kind of like John Farrow. Yeah. He's a good actor. I yeah, mean, he's everybody a good knows actor. It. I say he's it's more well known than John Favreau. Yeah, he's more well known than John Farrow. He's, he's really played good. a lot of good roles because I remember we we we've had him in a lot of other movies that we talked about. But he's also the bad guy in one of our favorites, uh Strange Days. Oh, the cop. the cop! Yes, yes. I think that's why we cop. know him so well. Is because that's the movie. I, I know him and William Fletcher. Fletcher or Fletcher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fletcher. 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 That's why I know those two guys so. Every time I see them, I'm like, oh, I love that dude because I love Strange Days. Yeah, because it was Strange Days. I mean, like William Fletcher was the um, the 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 captain of the um the longest John movie that Adam Sandler we made. Oh, is he? Yeah, well, he's, he's in everything. Now. He's yeah, he's yeah. in a lot he of. He was in the, I mean, he was the Dark Knight, the bank Black, manager. Yeah, he's also in the Black Hawk Black Black Hawk Down. Oh, I haven't seen Black Hawk Down. Oh, sure. I know. You call yourself an American. <laughs> I'm trying to. Wait, what the, when you say that, right? Is there like a list of movies I need to see to make sure that I can be called no, an American? Besides not. eating, besides eating cheeseburgers and medium rare steak. <laughs> We don't really. There's Americans that don't even do that, so that doesn't count. 
Sorry, they're not really Americans to me. <laughs> so they're not me either. <laughs> I like how we we just define what makes you American. <laughs> but I'm being nice. <laughs> being nice. Yeah, I guess. Well, yeah, Black Hawk Down America. is one of them. I mean, you already got Saving Private Ryan under your belt in Dude, the Martian. I, I saw Saving Private Ryan in the theaters that we came out. I wow. couldn't wait. Yeah, man, you're more dedicated than I am. Oh yeah, I, I, I well, I love Spielberg. I love Tom Hanks. Oh, that's you're American too. Yep, you got to get this man a little bit American for <laughs> <laughs> a little pin. You need a little pin right here. I do have a little pin. Like I see a lot of like you know, I guess politicians do that. Yeah, like, the oh, politicians <laughs> got that. <laughs> the American flag. I right, mean, man, we got it. Okay, <laughs> right, we got it. We're good. Oh, what were we talking about? Uh, we're talking about men in black. Men in black. I forgot what the last thing we've It doesn't on. matter. Oh, just, we're we're all over the place and we yeah. always are. We always will be. Yeah. I mean, we've already talked about burgers. Hey, <laughs> I was about gonna aliens. Ask your opinion on that neuralizer, right? Do I want one? Yes. No, not that. Like oh. eventually they're not gonna be able to do everyone in that scene. You know what I'm talking about? Because when Will Smith shot that gun, right, in which it blew him totally back, by the way. Oh, we're yeah. talking about Vincent D'Onofrio, the actor. But, like, when they're trying to contain that area, right, when they're like, oh, everybody look at a neuralizer, there's going to be some guy who like, whatever, I'm just going to leave. Because <laughs> yeah, well, I am one of those guys. You can see it. There's two people standing in the back. But if you walk away, oh, well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're, like, they're hey, not I trying to get everybody. They're trying today. to get the most of the people. Most of the people that mainly witnessed it straight up. Other people walking by, they just don't care. Yeah, I, don't know you. I saw some crazy stuff today. That's what are you going to do? So you leave and try to get on the internet. They're just going to come to your house. Oh, that's good. See, I want to be part of that team in MIB. I don't want to be the field agent. I want to be the one that, like, you know, kind of like last time I, we talked about Scream, I want that dispatcher shit. I want to be that guy in the chair. Like, Dude, I don't <laughs> want to go out there and see all that. Did you want to be like Zed and all those other people we see in the office building? Well, probably not probably not as high level as Zed, but like lower one that you look well, on. You know the lower all, ones. all those guys that sit sitting in the desk around you. Oh, yeah. The one that got hit in the ball. Uh, yeah, in the face. In the face. So you better be able to duck. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to be like, yeah. Ooh. Go there, get you some coffee. Get you some coffee where the worms are. I love those worm guys. And are those worm guys? What are they? They have arms. They never said what they are, right? Well, but there is some ends, of them so have they're names. not technically worm guys. They like to drink coffee. I know that. Yeah, I like to do smoke cigarettes. You see them yeah, with all they those packs of Marlboros. Did you see that? <laughs> they remind me, like, these are the 80s. They, they are from the 80s, okay? These aliens are from the 80s. They just smoke, and they like to drink coffee. Yeah, they and they probably love Stallone and Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these guys are more like from the 70s is what they're from. I guess they didn't give them too much movement in this movie because they were mostly standing still without... Moving most of the know, time, usually yeah. every time we saw them, they actually worsened. They made it look like they're moving, like it looks like they're walking through the MIB headquarters. But you know, oh, at the end, a, yeah, like this is a one shot though. You free they were, they, were, they were like the last to leave. Like, okay, everybody's leaving. I guess we should go too. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> I love those dudes. <laughs> yeah, well, they're like city workers too. I love these aliens that like um, insult anybody. Yeah. I mean, like, the, the way they disguise themselves is really good. Like, you know, there could be aliens living among us, but, like, I don't really care if they are. You know, they're not doing anything. But, like, it's the ones that the MIB is fighting against. Those are the ones that you watch for. Yeah. Because, like, you know, Jay, uh, K, uh, no, it's Jay, I got it, uh, Will Smith's character. It was like, hey, you know, if, in case you've forgotten, we just say, like, you know, whatever battles you like, it's that always one. Okay. Yeah. The best thing is to do, like, everybody doesn't know about it. I, I feel like, you know, it's always like conspiracy theories, right? But I feel like that's how the world works a lot. It's, nobody knows about it, right? Shh. It's okay. Don't tell anybody. Don't Nobody yeah. needs to know. Nobody needs to panic, okay? Don't pull out the business there like Independence Day because the aliens showed up like, hey, we want to kill everybody and I'll see you later. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, What else? I don't know. Uh, what was Linda Fontaine's name in that movie? Oh, you know what? The other stuff I really like is when uh, every time, every time Tom Lee Jones is like, uh, introduced, hi, I'm Agent, whatever I'm Agent, <laughs> I'm Doctor, and this is Doctor White. 
<laughs> I love a lot of these on the fly trainings that they do. Where Will Smith is not, Jay is not really completely like prepared at all. At the morgue, at um, at Edgar's house, at Edgar's and I also, house. you know, when they talk to his wife, the hot sheets are the like the tabloids. Oh, Laura, Laura. Yeah, Laura. That is Laura. I was like, um, would you like some lemon? Like, oh yes, of course. No, we're the FBI, ma'am. We don't have a sense of humor that I'm aware of. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> he does so well delivering that line with a straight face. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he does a lot of that because you know they do the scene you know where they they pull over all the uh, all the immigrants diverse. Oh, immigrants. in the beginning, oh that was yeah, so good. Where he pulls over and he tells those guys, he goes, oh, "Just keep saving the earth from all these dangerous aliens." Oh, that's funny. I <laughs> uh, like it. Actually, set the tone of what cage is you know, really the about. Funny thing is, being in Texas, I never seen immigration like that look like that. Not even in the nineties. No, they look. They're border patrol. We have border patrol. We've always had border patrol. I remember. Oh, seen those, so those on border patrol. Who are they? That's what I'm asking. Who are those? Oh, guys? oh, I don't know. I mean, that's probably. I mean, I've seen people dressed like that before, but they're always up north. I never seen anybody on the, the Mexican American border look like that. I'm so yeah. You know what? I'm so glad you bought this beginning scene up though because it does set. The I mean, because they all had like the little badge with the Statue of Liberty on it and stuff. I'm like. Well, oh, I didn't said, notice like, that. You really I think they attention. did. I think they did. Well, because I've never seen anybody look like that. I'm trying to figure out who are these guys because so, I see Border Patrol. When you pointed that out, to me, like right? it's kind of ironic, isn't it? Like, hey, the Statue of Liberty stands for freedom, right? You know, and then these guys like they capturing these Mexicans, and it's exactly what the Statue of Liberty is standing for. Yeah, I didn't like, see oh. it. I, I could have sworn they had like a they look like they're people that work in New York. And I'm like, what are they doing way out? In, in the, they're, well, I don't even know where they're at. They're like Arizona or California. Oh, I have no idea. I mean, like, I, oh, I they are because of all the cactus. Oh, okay. So yeah, Arizona. Don't have, we, don't, we don't have that kind of cactus on our border. In Texas? Yeah. But I really like that scene, though, because it sets the tone of um, yeah, it sets the tone Kay's of what character. It's no, well, also Kay's character. Like, hey, these yeah. people are just trying to leave wherever they're from right you find well, a bit basically uh, he's worried about the aliens yeah he's seen bigger threats this is not a threat to him oh yeah no. guys come across the border who cares oh well they gotta they're gonna like eat a bunch of people <laughs> <laughs> not. i did like when that that first alien is like when he's calling him ugly he doesn't even speak spanish right and he took off his mask like mikey i love these a lot of these aliens just have regular uh, English names and like, wah, 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 wah. Well, like that's my name. A lot of people have regular English names. I mean, come on, it's everybody no, like, comes from even people global? on this planet comes from overseas. They they pick up a they pick up an American English name. Or well, except for this guy right here. Yeah, except for that guy because uh, lamb, <laughs> lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Party of three. Hey, no B. All right, yeah, no B. Please, some, no B. Some people actually pronounce my name correctly. Oh, it's not they? pronounced lamb. It's called lamb. No, it's called Lom. I'm yeah. not gonna call you Lom. Just... Yeah, Lom. I never heard anybody call you Lom though. No. Uh Does there's only like three Lom? people that pronounce that name correctly. One of them was my English teacher from 12th grade. Oh really? Like, wow. wow, yeah. It's it's really rare that people like because L A M is not really lamb. I I guess I have no idea when you pronounce it, right? It's Lom. I think it's Lam. <laughs> Yeah, well, because you are not the master of English, okay? <laughs> well, neither, nobody's the master of English. Oh my god! And I always forget, like, why? Why yeah. do people pronounce it that way? But like, yeah, it's not. It's only England. a handful of people. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's really good. I have Did no you, idea. Your parents call you Lam? Yeah, my name, my Chinese name is Lam. Okay, I, don't, yeah. I guess that's why I don't know when your mom's calling. Yeah, that's why I'm like, <laughs> yep. who's she? Who's she hollering at? <laughs> His name's Lamb, don't you? Know? I know. I asked my cousin. I didn't ask you before. My wife, like, there's no way I could change my name now. Like, like a lot of yeah. people just associate that Lamb is associated with me. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. we can't call you anything else. I can't call you nothing else. I'm not gonna call you a Mike or a Bill or a Bob. Clint. Clint. No, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Not, not man enough, huh? <laughs> well, no, it's just. <laughs> Yeah, we're just going with Liam. Just stick to it, okay? <laughs> okay, to Liam. 
<laughs> it's the closest thing to my name, but like I don't want to change it either. Yeah, just oh, like, oh, it. that's so we'll much just, work. We'll just go. We'll just keep on going with your mispronounced real name. <laughs> yeah, mispronounced real name. My my legal my government name. Well, that's all right. Your wife calls you Lamb, so your name is Lamb. Yes, my name. Whatever is she hollers at you about, <laughs> that's your name. <laughs> that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> we'll plus wear it out. It. Plus, you answer to it, so I guess. It... Oh yeah, of course I do. I mean, so so uh, so unique, right? No one's gonna have a name like Lamb. If I call oh, Mike, like oh, there's a lot of people with Lamb. Well, let's put it. I'm gonna say there's a lot of people pronounce it Lamb, but there's a lot of people with it Lamb, especially Vietnamese people. Oh yeah, if Vietnamese you, people. If you type your name into YouTube, which we're Shoot. on, you're gonna get everybody. You're gonna get everybody but us. So you better just of, write Shane. A lot of Vietnamese people ask me if I'm Vietnamese. I know because my I name asked is you Lamb. too. I look yeah. at you and go, I think you're lying to me. You're not <laughs> liar. Because my face structure looks so different. I'm, I'm yeah. not a typical Chinese you look, person. You don't look yeah, you look like you won from New York. <laughs> no, I'm Dude, Hawaii, man. If I go to Hawaii, Hawaii. the, oh, the yeah, locals yeah. think I'm there. I what told you that you? story, right? Yeah, you did. Everybody yeah. thought you were there. They're like, why don't no, you ask no him? one ever you're yeah, like... no one ever asked me like to shop. Nothing is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, just well, maybe i do because so i just... i have darker skin because they're, they're, they're in the tropical island right and i have yeah. darker skin so, so what you're island. telling me is you're a tropical chinese guy pretty much hong kong is a tropical country okay cool <laughs> we have hurricanes they sucks wow yeah. just like florida just like florida but probably not as worse yeah probably not as bad yeah okay. but it's well, the, it's just the wind is pretty bad sometimes we got to be yeah. careful we're in Texas. The wind's really bad here, too. I mean, I just get blown over, pickups, trucks, all kinds of crap gets blown over. It's just normal. <laughs> yeah. You can't get away from the wind. No, not really. Okay. Yeah. Even if you have sales, you just go. So, it. one of the other actors, I don't know if you just know his name, right? Now that we're getting back into the movie, is David Cross. Even you know this guy? Yeah, I know David Cross. Oh, okay. Because he's a comedian, and I listened to his stand up a few times. He's not. As I guess as popular as obviously a lot of the other ones, right? But he is a pretty funny guy. Yeah, well, he must be pretty popular with his director because he's in. Oh, this he movie. is. Uh, yeah, because no, he's I'm, I'm this... assuming. Oh, okay. He's in this movie. Yeah, because he's the uh, he has a little role. Was he the um? Yeah, he's the morgue attendant. Yeah, morgue attendant. Yeah. Goes, hey, 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 thank you for checking to make sure a bell works. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did they put a lot of makeup on Finn's, like, no, uh, D'Onofrio? Because he's like, the way that his skin looks like. Because eventually his skin has to start coming off. Yeah, you know. (laughs) He looked like a, like like his wife said, looks like someone was wearing an egg or suit. Yeah, and then this, I like that, like, the skin, it keeps on rotting. Like, you notice that? Like, it's just still rotting eventually. Because it's It's dead. I do like that really well, because the only one I've seen that in is um, The Walking Dead. Well, the comic books. I don't know if they. I noticed it on the show, like the zombies eventually becomes like more, more. You know, they, they, they um, decompose. Yeah, they or have in a lot of movies. Yeah, you're dead. You're gonna fall apart. Just I did like that, and it wasn't until the very end where he took the suit apart. Is it a cockroach? What is that bug? It's an alien. Why oh, is just an alien. Be, we just keep putting their names on everything from Earth. No, it was a. It was just they call it a bug, but it's an alien. So basically, because I, I find that it bothers. That alien, right? When you know insects are being killed on yeah. planet Earth, well, like he's he still be like a giant can. insect. Yeah, he probably could communicate with them. Ah, uh, that you know, makes we can't talk to bugs. We're not bugs. Why would we like, talk to bugs? Don't I mean do the that. day the day that we start talking to bugs, we'd have to quit killing bugs. And you know how hard that would be because you could accidentally <laughs> swallow flies anytime. Yeah, I mean, I like killing bugs, so I don't ever <laughs> want to get to that point. It's like I like killing bugs. It's like yeah. killing bugs is number one for me. Yeah, <laughs> number two. Because I mean, it's like oh, bug cruelty. You're going to prison, getting fined. <laughs> killing bugs like, are okay. I drive down the highway and I got grasshoppers stuck all in front of my truck. I mean, <laughs> what oh. am I supposed to do? Grasshoppers. I remember when we were working at Lowe's, a grasshopper flew right into my chest, man. Like, dude, that thing hurt. Dude, I walk across to my field and I just get like pelted with them. Well, those guys don't know where they're going. Yeah, they don't, right? Just a little bunch. No, they hit you so hard. They, yeah, they hit you, you when they, so hard. when they hit you in the face. They almost oh. put an eye out. 
gosh, I had no idea you had to wear like a safety eyeglasses just to walk out in the field yeah. because in case of grasshopper attacks. Yeah, you're just gonna start spraying poison. It's, it's so Let me ask that. you something. Since you brought that up, like, what are you walking across across the field for, like in your house, like just to get to like a shed or something? Well, I don't know. Well, I'm just asking. The same reason everybody else just walks across their yard. What do you walk across your yard for? Well, my yard is not big enough, so... Oh, like... Okay, well, I can walk across. I could be walking to go water a tree. Ah. To go to the fence. To go to the gate. To go get the water hose. So you, you got to understand this. Your yard is probably a lot bigger than mine. Yeah. You so your, I don't know you what else you can block in my yard. put out there. <laughs> Yeah, like I could put my house on your yard. I'm like, dude, this is really huge. Yeah, you guys please have don't. Out here. Yeah, please don't. No, <laughs> you and all your neighbors could put your your house in my yard, probably. But wow, but I'm not walking across the entire yard. I'm just walking to do stuff. I work out there. I mow when you're driving your tractor, mowing the yard. They're flying and jumping at you. So you drive one of those uh, riding lawn mowers? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's all right. It's it's. Better than pushing a mower. Yeah. Oh yeah. How long does it take you to mow the lawn? <laughs> a long time. Oh really? Oh yeah. I, 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 I don't do it all in one day. Let's put it that way. Holy crap! You don't do it all in one day? No. You wow. Better, help, like put several hours in it. It may take me three days. Ooh. And Dang, that's a I, 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 I kind of need a bigger tractor, but wow. I don't want to cut up everything. I'm only blown it's away. It's not a chore. It's fun. Cause... You put your headphones on, play some music, get on the tractor, and just cruise around and think. Wow, you could probably do a lot of audio books that way. Yeah. Learn some new stuff. Yeah. Wow. See? How come they don't have that automated, like, that, that, that I wrote Roomba thing? They, they got don't make it... one. Who wants one? I don't know. They got one. No. To it this day, lot, man. I don't want one. To this day, right? I can't believe we're still mowing grass. I'm not from this part of the world where, like, okay, well, people I have to tell you, some of us three like, days to mow the lawn. Some right? of us like to mow grass. It's relaxing. Because like, you got a push mower. Oh, I don't mow my lawn at all. I just oh, pay some well. people to you know. And then how would, do you don't? You should even have an opinion on this. <laughs> no, because it feels like it's a waste of time. When you say three days, right, dude? I can get a lot of stuff done in. Three I don't days. do it like solid three days. <laughs> I mean, like it takes you three days separately. Like oh, maybe you do takes... three hours today, two hours the next day, oh, and maybe one. Oh, hour. The area, you're, 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 it's even longer than that. But oh yeah. my gosh! Oh <laughs> my I gosh! More rocks and stuff out. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Like I said, some people like the mother grass. I like the mother grass. I like to jump on the tractor and th- it's like like me and you take. What do you do most of your thinking? When you're taking a shower, you're saying thank you. Is that a waste of time? Oh no, no. because you'd stink. You're- <laughs> yeah, but something I I like I don't have to mow the lawn. I have you don't, to take a shower. And you never do, anyways. We don't yeah. have to take a shower. There's a lot of people who go without it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not one of those. <laughs> but thank no. God we are thinking and greasy and stuff. Nope. I'm not yeah, part of that group. Yeah, don't want to be part of that group. But but it's okay because you know, I noticed that if you don't take a shower, a lot of people want to talk to you about it, but they don't know how to approach <laughs> you about it. So they don't. <laughs> They do that sign where they write write like letters on the board, right? And they just hold it like, "Hey, yeah. man, dude, take a shower." Because <laughs> basically, it depends on where you work. They they nowadays try to tell HR to tell you to do it, and it, HR is like, "Yeah, I don't know if we legal can legally can do that." I'm like, I we came a long way, right? That's a long time where period of humans have. That's longer part time where humans have not taken a shower daily than we have since the showers. In yeah, I don't see how anybody can go like a week. Oh my god. <laughs> Especially like if you were a cowboy back in the day, right? Like, dude, know, it took me like, three weeks like to move even from if you miss a day. Even if you miss a day, it's like, oh, this is not gonna work. If we... <laughs> all I gotta say is we turn into a bunch of wusses, but we all still great. Like, I know we probably won't do this. We were on a show. I feel like we should be having this conversation if we were doing Unforgiven or Tombstone or something. Like, you gotta think well, about that. We right? may never get to those movies, so let's have this discussion. Oh, just, I can't believe we didn't have this conversation. You when know, we were talking about Wild Wild West. You, you know what? This is <laughs> yeah, but we saw Wild. We saw Will Smith in Wild Wild West take a shower. He was taking a bath. So yeah, in the beginning he's, scene. Yeah, yeah, he's taking a bath. He, who wouldn't want to take a bath like that? And like at those periods of time. Like, you know, when they go to the brothel, right? Like, dude, these people are having sex and none of them have taken a shower for days. <laughs> I guess back then, that's not the priority, right? It's like, hey, do you have money? 
<laughs> well, yeah, the, usually, usually though, that's the places you would go to take a bath. Like that kind of day. Yeah. <gasps> you know what? Now we're talking about Men in Black. It just made me think of this. So people who are in Men in Black, right? Do they live at the headquarters? They don't. They, they don't to. go to a home, right? Well, they might. Well, they can't really, could they? They'd have to flash their neighbors every day. <laughs> you did not see me. I don't live here. Well, you're right that they had you live at their headquarters because they're supposed to be incognito, no profile, right? Yeah. If you go home every day, people are going to be like trying to be friendly. Hey, what's going on, neighbor? Yeah. You know, you're trying to avoid that, so that way you know to yeah, avoid well, suspicion. They never really said that, but. Maybe they no. all live in an owned apartment block or something. Oh, kind of like a company owned apartment blocks. And, you know, yeah. it's kind of like Resident Evil. You mm-hmm. ever seen that movie? They Everybody live underground. But you gotta and think, though, a lot of those men, men in black, though, a lot of them, they're going to look like regular office people to everybody else. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of feel like um, Neo from The Matrix. He's not really standing out. He works at his computer software yeah. company. Yep. Yeah. Just does their thing, goes to work, comes back. Nobody knows where they work. And they don't talk to anybody. They're probably the real set of friendly people on earth. That's very true. It had to be. Yeah. So I mean, if you're friendly, then people gotta ask questions. You don't want it's, to talk to people. It's kind of like really, you don't it's like trying I, to say hi to somebody. Then they want to talk to you. I don't want to say what kind of car I drive, right? But you know what kind of car I drive. But when uh, people yeah. see me drive that car, right? They want to know what I do. Exactly. Because they think you're a billionaire, but they're not. Because I'm like, a billionaire wouldn't even drive that car. Even, I mean, come on. A billionaire wouldn't even drive even a car. Elon, even Elon Musk doesn't drive one. Yeah, exactly. Or does he? So, uh, I, I yeah, just want to bring this up. You know what I drive, right? I'm just going to say, I, I drive a drive. Tesla. So, yeah. anything I complain, right? So normal, I just thought of this joke the other day. If I complain to anyone about my car, like, oh, my car doesn't um, do this, right? The appropriate response to whatever I say is, F you, lamb. <laughs> That's it. There's nothing I can complain about in my car, right? Some people's going to be like, oh, yeah, I get that too. No, they don't. If you drive a Honda Civic, you don't get the same thing. <laughs> So Unless you try to, so what you're trying to say, you're better than everybody now. No, I'm oh not. My God, it's like well, we know that, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not better than anybody else. It's just like all of a sudden, you... because I'm like, because when you know, I follow these Facebook groups, right? When people are like, hey, what do I do when I come with like troubleshooting? I like to read those, yeah. But a lot of like one of the first things people ask on that group is like, hey, what does everybody do for a living, right? Dude, when I read the comments, it's gold. Some people are like. I manage a Starbucks. <laughs> what I want to say is, like, dude, I'm a panda bear tamer. <laughs> I'm a cashier at Winco. <laughs> but some people actually on un- un- answer like honest, honestly, you know, like I'm a doctor of this specialty. I'm a, a accounting at this firm, right? Like, wow, look at these people out there, and ninety percent of them are jerk answers. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ninety percent of my jerks. It's like BMW drivers, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I relate to like, oh man, I hope I didn't cut this guy off right, and they think I'm an a hole because of what I drive. Oh, uh, they it's saw like... you. They saw you coming. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's like I feel like the BMW driver ownership is transferred to Tesla drivers. Yeah, but the problem is, it's you're stepping it's what... down to me. I'm stepping down. What does that mean? No, you're not. You went oh. up. Oh, but people, but people in a BMW. Oh, are BMW. Stepping down. Yeah, if you're driving a BMW, you can step down to a Tesla three. Oh uh, yeah. I, well, I feel like that's a step. It's down like a, it's, it's like an overpriced, ugly car. <laughs> I guess some people want to drive electric. That's it. Well, yeah, that's the only reason you're gonna drive electric. You're paying out the butt for like something that looks worse than like a Honda Civic. <laughs> I mean, I, I shouldn't have said it because they're kind of like on the civics, but what I'm getting at, you know, it looks like an economy car. They cost a that's fortune. It? That's the that, Honda that's, Civic. Are you talking about the Model 3 or the Honda Civic? I'm talking about the Model 3. It looks oh, like okay. an economy car, but it just has an electric motor. Yeah, it does cost more than it was supposed to. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, could tell, I mean, if you go, hey, I got a Tesla t- Type S or whatever it is, you know, Model, Model S, S yeah. I'd be like, wow. If you go, oh, I got a three. I'm like, so. 
So you overpaid for your car. Is the Y anywhere in that category? Is it closer to the S or closer to the three? The model it's closer Y. Closer to the three for me. Oh, it is. So it had to be S or X for you. Oh, the higher, the higher why do you put the X on there? X ain't nothing because to me either. X, I won't even notice X an X. It's just the um. I, I won't even notice an X. SUV version of the yep. S. I won't even notice an X. Interesting. Next to me is you got a cheaper model with Jeep Cherokee. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what it's. I mean, you better be driving an S or, or, or just, or I'm not even gonna notice. Oh, interesting. I mean, because right now I don't see a lot of model S's around. No, because I think they quit making them, didn't they? Nope. Okay. Yeah, nope. I don't see too many S's but because I think people it. like when they drive the S, right? They just want a bigger car. So they go with the X. Yeah, and I you know, I went with a bigger car because yeah. I need to pull more because you have this obsession with driving a bus. Yes, I, I do. Mean, you want to haul everybody on earth around. That's I do. That's your thing. And there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, that's I do. people like that. You're like, I want 12 people in my car, dude. Oh, I'm, I me, I'm like, I barely want myself in the car because <laughs> I have a big family, so that's why you know, like, I, I don't want to have to drive two cars. Yeah. You know, yeah. I know you're a voice spin, you should have been a, a, a a transportation expert. I don't know. I should have been driving maybe, a bus around. Maybe it's the Hong Kong part of you that's that wants to haul everybody around. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you know, my, Hong Kong is cousin. big, crowded. Everybody's lots of people there. Yeah, and then you you can't like, hey, there's five of us, dude. Don't drive five different cars because you have to pay for parking everywhere. Yeah, and exactly. it's that's, that's even if you can find parking anywhere. Well, it's getting that way where you live. So, <sighs> whatever. Oh, for cool. me, it's like for where I live right now, it's like, yeah, it's not a lot of people. Where here. you live, I'd be like, dude, I'm riding with you. Yeah, <laughs> compared to you, like there's a lot of people. Nope. I've been to a place, but I've been living in places shorter than I live here now. Like, man, it's like any hardly anybody here. <laughs> hardly anybody here. Okay, you can't go whatever. to Hong Kong or New York, like, oh my god, I'm bumping to people everywhere. <laughs> yeah, well. I, I, if I see one person, that's one person too many. <laughs> that's that's the, it's a, that, I'm, that's the, I'm done for the day. Yeah, I'm done. I gotta <laughs> I'm, go done. I'm done. It's like, so how many people were in a Walmart with you? Five. Oh, <laughs> I, was done. I was like, oh, I turned it's like right when back I, around. It's like when I go to the movie theater, dude. Now there's like, go in there and there's all these seats and there's like three people in there. It's too many people in there. <laughs> so you just I almost left. feel like almost feel like getting up and leaving. <laughs> that's why you prefer to see this movie by yourself. <laughs> and I have gone to the theater and watched movies by myself. Uh, Blade Runner, twenty forty nine. Went in there, had the whole theater myself. It was beautiful. I think it's really hard for me. Several Marvel movies. I see most of the Marvel movies by myself in the theater. Except Is it for, because uh, you watch it later? No, I watch it like yeah, around three, four o'clock in the afternoon, p.m. You know. Oh, okay. There's a lot of people, busy. you know. Yeah, when it's not busy. The only thing I got ticked off, you know, because I saw like Black Panther all by myself. Saw all these movies by myself. Then I went to see Endgame, and there was three other people in there. I was like, <sighs> so upset. <laughs> I want to make a bigger face off the face I'm making. Like, <laughs> I wish you could, but it's so funny when you said that. What well, did you see on opening day? I forgot yeah, to ask you. talked. Them. You can hear those people talking. They didn't talk oh. during the movie, but they were talking to each other. Now, I didn't oh. have anybody to talk to, so why should they talk? You know what I'm saying? It was so hard for me and Heather's game to end game. Because me and Heather thought like, you know what? We'll probably see it saw it with, But you got to remember, I also saw it in game a little later. I didn't go see it on opening. Or oh, yeah. Heather couldn't wait. So you I, had saw, to see it opening I saw event. Blade Runner when it opened and there was nobody in the theater. Because I was thinking, huh, everybody's stupid and they don't know what no they're missing. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to see stupid Blade Runner. I wanted to see it in the movie Almost now. No, that's the thing. I went and saw the theater. Nobody's there now. I went around yeah. trying to talk to people about it, and nobody's seen it. And there's a lot of people I know still haven't seen it. Blade Runner, oh, this Blade Runner is so good. It's you, you had to be on a higher level. You got to be on a higher level. Yep. If you don't uh, like Blade Runner, like I don't know if I can. But talk you know to what you. the nice thing is? That higher level we're talking about, we're about the only ones on it. That's the great thing. <laughs> it's like it's lonely up here. We're the pyramid. Yeah, it's not lonely <laughs> up here. It's very nice up here. I don't run into anybody. Oh, okay. All right, let's get back to the movie. I do want to talk about the alien invasion. I do want to talk about the um the peace. Like the galaxy is so important to the bug, right? Like, hey, you control this galaxy. I guess we could take over your world. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be an energy source or something. Oh, and I did like that. Like, you know, we think of the universe, right? Or like a, a galaxy is a, a big thing as a whole. 
And yeah. it was franked out like, hey, you and your humans keep thinking like these are massive things, right? Galaxy could be as small as this thing. And when at the end, you know, they had the galaxy, right? You know, they put up on Orion or whatever. And it's really crazy. They had that special effects scene where like, you know, you look through the galaxies and, you know, the whatever, um, whatever those galaxies are, right? And then you suddenly see like a little marble piece that really tripped Ethan out. I was oh, like, whoa. Yeah. Cause he, you know, he's he's a little kid that learns science, like you know, the galaxy, the black hole, and these things, like the Big Bang, like really gigantic things, right? That's what they learn in school. Yeah. But their mind hasn't been open to like, hey, the, the idea is it could be as small as a marble. Well, that's the thing, though. If you look down smaller, you got atoms, protons, neutrons. Yes. All those could be, in a way, could be little galaxies, worlds, and stuff. Yes. And, and just like let's say in your table or something behind you, it's zillions that will make up something. Wow. So when I finished watching this movie with him, right, he was so excited. That was the second one. Huh, cool. Man in Black 2. And he's like, oh, I want to watch this right away. And I'm like, hey, we had time. Let's watch the second one immediately, too. So we watched Man in Black 1 and 2 together. Cool. And you know, I'll watch that. I, I, I put a day between mine. Oh, you put a day between yours so you can, you yeah. know, absorb the energy, I mean, the information from one. Yeah, because I almost fell asleep one. during the first one. So let's go. Oh, <laughs> did you really? I was tired. Oh. Okay. Well, the, the, I guess it depends on when, what time of the day you watch it too. Yeah. I mean, I didn't fall asleep in the theater. I mean, I saw it and I was like, oh, this oh is yeah. Awesome. I mean, like when we will watch it. Yeah. That's good. Well, I guess with that, I could uh, wrap it up right here. Good. All right. Good. Oh, well, I'm good. Let's go. Come on. Move okay. on. Let's get on. <laughs> Come on. We got things to do. People to see. All right. Well, I'll I talk don't. to you on the I next one. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in for this episode of Tenzai Reviews. If you like what you heard, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Spotify and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you on the next one.